Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. That's, that's the town anyway, because we, we've done enough sightseeing, let's get back to work. Uh, we have got the grain to do over here, we've got, let's go and actually, I'll tell you what we will do. We'll, we'll do the potatoes first, this is one that we want to keep moving most of all because this is the one that is potentially going to take the longest time to complete. So we'll get this one back over to the Tatipo field, and then we will get started on the sugar beet next, and we'll do the wheat as the last job to go and do. So with this one, I mean, once we get this one to the field, it's easy. We can unload it, and then we can park it on the side of the field. The sugar beet, however, will unload that one and then we'll take that load straight back over and we'll tip that one out, same as we've already done. And then the grain, that one can be unloaded last and although that will just sort of keep the thing moving because the trailer's in the field, isn't it? So we don't have too much to worry about with that. Oh, wait, I want to go up. Whoa! Okay, just, just ignore that. I'm still, my mind is still half trying to figure out how old this town is here, just by looking at the architecture. Um, I think I've made a reasonable guess. Like, I think that a lot of the buildings have been rebuilt in recent years. I would say also that there's been quite an influx of people moving to the valley in the last uh, 50 or 60 years or so and it's sort of slowly that the community has been building up quite a bit you got new town over there that's definitely new town and you've got the brand new bridge going across over there uh, that's an older bridge up there those types of bridges they were sort of in their heyday in the 1800s they made a lot of those back then when the railways were really starting to spread out across Europe so um, you got that it does kind of make sense that the other buildings around here sort of tie in with the architecture that we've got demonstrated by that track up there and so maybe that church is actually younger than 200 maybe that church is pretty much a brand new build only like 150 years and was put up at the same time as the railway bridge is up over there it wouldn't surprise me. I've, I've encountered stranger things. I, yeah, there's all kinds of weird things that have happened. Um, this could have been quite an underdeveloped region of Europe for a very long time. And it was only with the advent of the trains being able to come in that this area was able to take off at all. That is definitely a possibility. That is definitely a possibility of how things happened here. Anyway, I'm going to go to this one next. I'm going to run over there beside that combine because I don't actually need to do anything other than park up beside that combine in order to get that one moving again. I literally just need to put this trailer underneath the spout and then leave it because it's on standard hired help at the moment. It won't start up and drive off. It will just stay right where it is until it's unloaded. So that one's going to stay there. He's going to unload into my trailer and I can go and get this one. Right, this is the last one to get started. If we whiz this one back round to the sugar beet, we can get that one going. I'll unload everything that is on that sugar beet harvester and then I will bring it straight back here and I will tip it out again. And then that one is ready to go. Unfortunately, that sugar beet harvester has turned around and is facing in the wrong direction, which means that I've got to drive on the crop again, which I don't really like to do. No, I don't have to go and drive on the crop at all. I could just move the sugar beet harvester out and do it like that, but I don't want to. Long story short, I don't actually want to. So I will just drive around here and I'll take 30,000 litres straight off of this machine right here like this. And then I'll drive it straight back over to the, um, the sale point and we will sell the next round. Of, well, not sell, we'll deliver the next round of sugar beet. Now, we're getting to the point on our job here with the sugar beet that I would like. So the fertilising job is completed. But the sugar beet job here, we're on 81% at the moment. So I've got quite a bit delivered already. 
But we're getting to the point where I want to finish up with a full trailer load and a full harvester load as well. I don't want to have too much um, go into the sell point before I finish doing the harvesting so that we can kind of basically maximize the... Because each time you tip a load in, it fills up the progress bar a little bit as well as doing the actual harvesting doing the unloading fills up the progress bar a little bit and i think that the progress bar if you go and deliver a whole load of crop because like doing all of the harvest job gives you about 83 84 percent complete on the job whereas if you go and sell everything to start it'd be interesting to find that out later on though like 83, 84% if we were just to do the harvesting and then you go and deliver the crop afterwards. It would be interesting if we had material in storage, say we had here, for example, uh, barley, enough barley to complete this. If we had a load in storage, we take the job and then we just go and tip until it says 100% complete for delivery and see how much of the job that that actually completes. I don't know how much of it it would do. So, uh, potato sugar beet right there, field 16. Let me tip that one out right there. Uh, it's on 83% at the moment. I don't think that the gauge moves while you're looking at it. So, we'll just do it here. 83%. That now says 83% transported and the job is now 85% complete. So, we got 2% for that trailer load. So it'd be interesting to find out, um, like run a little experiment like that, if we've got a whole load of grain in storage at some point. We don't, obviously we can't do that right now. We don't have storage for it. We don't have the ability to go and do such a thing um, because you need to be able to store the grain up and then use it for a future job. You can't kind of do, like we've done the harvest first and then sold all the grain. We've done that several times. But that's not what we're looking to do this time round. We're looking to do it the other way round. Okay, sugar beet in there. He's got 10,000 litres. I'm going to bring my trailer up over here and wait for him to turn round. And then we can unload that bit. He's doing his turn round up here. Okay, he's doing absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about him. And he's doing absolutely fine as well. So let's go and get this one. You have completely completed that job. You've done everything in there. So we can say fertilizing is done in there. We can collect on that one. I've got the sowing job to do. I don't currently have any more fertilizing. Let's click new contracts. I don't currently have anything new to go and do. Other than field 5 sowing, which is now being sown with soybeans. Field 5 is... Oh, it's that one all the way up there with the, um, uh, what do you call in it? Um, the, the who's me call in it. Um, right, this is our field here. I'm going to just drive down through this field. It's fairly short grass as well, so I can drive, I can, this is our field. I can drive, and it's grass as well, and it's only just starting to grow. I mean, we're planning to plow the whole thing up anyway. So it's not like it's going to make a big difference. We can drive down through here. Or we can go and pick up our... I am wondering if I should split this field into two parts. Rather than farming it as one great big field. Whether we should try and split it apart and farm it as two. Uh, something to think about for another time, I think. We're not going to worry about that just yet. So let's bring you down in here. We will unload this one. I'll put that one in front of the sprayer. Because I'm not using the sprayer at the moment. There's no spraying jobs at all. That's going to be later on that we'll be getting those. Uh, pop you down. Oops. There. And then I'll go and get that sea drill on. Back over this way. Make sure that we've got soybeans on board. Like that. I have got soybeans on board. That's good. And I've got a pickup truck up there with a part pallet of seeds on it. So I'm going to go and... Um, Load this one right up completely. There, like that. Excellent. Right, we've loaded that one up there. And close over the lid. Right, let's get out to field 5. Which is the one directly above the field that we did with the fertilizer. Uh, yeah, we did field 6, the little field. 
We've gone and done that one, so now we've got this slightly bigger one. Although it's got a ring of cotton around the edge from a previous job. It's not a job that we did, but it still has it right around the edge. Now, the potatoes, you know what? Let's just grind to a halt right there, because I want to go and get those potatoes unloaded. I would like to keep that one moving. I needed uh, the, the comp. The, again, with the sugar beet, I've missed it, and I don't know if he's going to... He, he actually might. He might get all the way down to the other end of the field before we need to worry about that one. I'm hoping he does. And that way I can run alongside him to unload him, rather than having to just park in the field and, and do it like that. So you here, I'm going to put that into the back trailer. I'm not at all. I'm facing... I'm not... Listen, I'm not facing the wrong way. I'm too far over. Way too far over on there. Let's bring that one back in around and try that again, shall we? Come on, Frith. You can do better than this. You have got the ability to do better than this. Let's see if we can stay focused. Let's get all of these out. That one heading up. What is he? He's about halfway up. He's on 80% now. 85. It's touch and go, but he might make it, actually. It might get all the way down to the end of the field before he fills up completely. That one is now unloaded in there, so I can just bring that out over here like this. We've got two more full loads to go into this one before that one is ready to do anything. Uh, you, I'm just going to leave you parked up in the middle of the road for a second. And there he is. He has finished, well, he's, he's filled up the tank, but he hasn't. It's almost finished. It hasn't quite. On that very final home stretch right there. Which means that we're going to have... Actually, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Let's, let's just take a quick look in here and see what this contract is doing. Harvest on field 3. 94% at the moment. We've got a little bit more to go on there. Wheat is now down to 75%. So if I bring this one down here like this that's roughly where it's got to be and i'll bring that down to the end of the field down here and the hired help stops it'll stop with the spout part way out it won't actually go all the way out onto this one it'll just stop dead so it won't unload into there but at least it's in roughly the right place where we want to be and let's have that one and oh he's now completely filled now, with the amount that I've got left here, I'm not going to go and deliver this load yet. So I will... Actually, I'm just going to leave that tractor park right there. Let it unload, and then I'll let that one carry on. Uh, because we don't want to... Let's get moving with this one. We can get this one started. And Helper G has completed their task. Helper G is nearly full grain tank. And he looks like he might actually have the spout out properly over that trailer. And Helper G has completed their task. Is he actually unloading? I uh, slightly the wrong place. I misjudged that slightly. Never mind. We'll go back over and we'll do that in a second. We'll just get that bit unloaded. So we want to very carefully unload what we can with the wheat at the supermarket. And then the rest of it I want to keep. And I'm going to put into the storage facility in the middle of town. And I need to make sure I do that before I do the contract complete. I've made that mistake before, and I've returned an entire trailer load of crop, which I didn't want to do. I don't want to do that this time. I would like to actually do the job properly. Now, this bit up here, unfortunately, has crop around the edge of the field. Which I don't like. I don't like that we've got this cotton around the edge of the field that it's not kind of recognizing as the proper part of the field. It, it, it's wrong. It shouldn't be like this. I don't like it at all. And then there's a big swath of it across the top end. I suspect that is nothing to do with us or to do with the field itself. I suspect that is because it's so tight to the field boundary. Um, yeah, th th there isn't anything that we can do about that. I mean, you can drive up into it, but bec and it doesn't even recognize that as being part of the field anyway. So I don't really know what would happen with that. 
when it comes to, well, doing anything, really. Uh, you know what I was going to do? I was thinking if I was to have the hired help go here on this side, and we'll start right there with the hired help. We'll start there, and I'll let it just do a couple of passes up and down the field just to straighten out this edge. And then once it's done that, I'll take it over to that side of the field and I'll start it working over there so that then we have um, two straight lines to work from. Probably end up sort of looking a little bit better for us. Um, but anyway, this bit now. The spout is all the way out, which is good. That's what we want. Those beacons are still on. Why have they got those beacons still on? Turn them off already. I'll do it myself. If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. There. Yeah. Right, that's got 7,000 litres left on board. We can just quickly empty that bit out. We've got room to put all of it in this trailer. And then we go to the supermarket, and I've got to make sure I stop tipping just as soon as it starts trying to sell so that we've got that last little bit done. Because wheat in here in the supermarket is down to 311, whereas the Felsbrunn grain mill is all the way up at 466. So I've got another wheat job that I can get, that I, I've got to finish this job first, and then we can get that other wheat job, and we can go and potentially go and do something with that. Uh, let me just quickly switch through these over here. So that one's working away. The sugar beet's got 43%. I might get everything into the harvester. Hmm. I don't think I will, actually, but um, never mind. Right, uh, potatoes about half full. You've got two more loads to go in there. This one, all the way up there. That is pretty much a full straight edge on the field all the way down through. So I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm going to go whizzing off over to the other side of the field. I'm doing the same over there, because it's a bit more of a triangle over there. So I'll do one pass down the edge of the field. I really don't like the way the outline of this field is. This this bugs me. This this bugs me far more than it probably should, but it, it bugs me nonetheless. Um, let's drop that one down there. And then we will chase this one up the side up here. I mean, I guess... Over time, the cotton will eventually disappear. I mean, maybe once the contract is complete, it will decide that it's going to be all soybeans in here and it will actually get rid of that strip of cotton around the edge. But I'm not going to hold my breath. We've done other jobs in this field and we've actually done like all of the field. Like we've done all of field five, haven't we? So I don't know why there's a little tiny bit left now. It's like the field boundary has been redefined. Didn't we have an update on this map? Is that what the update did? Did the update accidentally break this field? Stranger things have happened, haven't they? I'm not sure. You can tell this does bug me. This 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 genuinely does bug me. Right, uh, I'm going to leave you there working away. And then I'm going to go... Uh, let's just leave that one for a second. Let's go to you over here. Sugar beet, we have got 64%. I can put 9,000 litres into this trailer. So I'm going to go and take 9,000 litres off of there. Because I reckon he's got two more passes on the field before he's full. So I'd like to actually um, fill up the trailer completely before I go and try and uh, offload anything. So fill this one up completely. The full 9,000 there. We've got 39,200 in there. That one's going to stop there like that. And he's now got 18,000 litres of space on there. Might be able to do it. It might not. I'm, I don't really know. But, I mean, if we have a look in here now and we take a look at the contract that we've got. Uh, that's the wheat, potatoes. 96%, possibly get to 97, and then we've got the, the little bit of um, stuff to go and tip. Hmm. I don't think it is. I think I'm going to have to go and tip out this trailer load and then come back and get more. That's what I think is going to happen. You're you're nearly full now as well. i got to stop worrying about this. I'm overthinking it. I, I don't think there's going to be a lot of money involved in um, that bit, especially considering the prices of sugar beet. Like I, I really don't. I don't think there's going to be much in it at all. 
Uh, so let's have this one and get you down to the supermarket. We will sell what we can and then what we can uh, not sell, we will unload enough to complete the job. And then when we've done that, we will then get the potatoes are full. We will go and deal with those in a minute. Um, let's focus on this one and we can get this job completed and finished. So I'm going to just tip until the contract is complete. As soon as it starts trying to sell, I'm going to stop tipping. And then I'm going to take the remaining wheat that we have in that trailer. I'm going to take it over to that grain storage right there. And I'm going to put it into there. And then eventually we will take the train over to Felsbrunn. And we will sell everything over at Felsbrunn Grain Mill. I've got another wheat job that we want to do first, though. So we're going to get that other wheat job, and we're going to do exactly the same with that one. We're going to take everything that we can from that job, and well, just, just what we need in order to finish doing the job, and then the remaining wheat, that will also go into the storage. So here we go, ignoring all of the signs. We're making a delivery here. We have special dispensation. Let's keep the beacons on. No, we are driving the wrong way around this circuit here. So we need beacons on to show that we're very important. It's amazing how many people will let you get away with just about anything you want if you've got flashing beacons or a high-vis jacket. If you've got both, you can do pretty much anything you want. And that's actually that's been shown. Like, there's been studies done. There's been demonstrations of that. You Basically, you can try it yourself, right? Try it yourself if you've got access to a high-vis jacket... Ooh, let's focus a minute. If you have access to a... There, ooh, stop. Okay, we've got 18,000 litres of wheat here. I did sell 347 euros worth. I think I sold 1,000 litres there. Uh, well, not quite 1,000 litres, was it? How much did we get? How much are we getting, rather? Uh, here, wheat. I did. I tipped 1,000 litres into there. 466 in the grain in Felsbrunn grain mill. So we're going to take this 18,000 liters that we got left and we're going to tip it in there. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen a, a, a thing done and it was actually quite fascinating to watch. A person goes onto a bridge and tells people they cannot walk on the left hand side of the bridge. They can't walk there, safety reasons. Didn't say anything else, just said, for your safety, don't walk on the left hand side of the bridge. Trying to keep it clear. People asked questions. People said, you, you can't tell me what to do. Pretty much everybody ignored the person that was telling them what to do. That person then went away and put on a high-vis jacket and then came back. No, just, just a high-vis vest. Nothing else. No extra uniform. No badge. No credentials. Nothing. Just a high-vis vest that was all that was the only thing they were wearing and went back through and did exactly the same thing again this time everybody cleared the left side of the bridge no questions asked there was no resistance everybody stayed away from the left hand side of the bridge and it was quite an amazing thing to see like i genuinely didn't think that it would be that easy to tell the general public what to do. But apparently it is. It really is that easy. Okay, Field 16 Harvesting is saying that it's completed already. It hasn't completed. But Field 3 has completed. That is the one that we were just doing. So we get four and a half grand from that one. I'm going to collect that right there. Field 16 is the sugar beet job. And there's no way I'm collecting that one back. Because we have got full loads of equipment and he's so close to being done right there isn't he so let's go and take this one we'll run this one over to the grain mill over here and we'll tip that one out and then we can come back and we can unload that last little bit i know it's not the harvester full and the other but i'm not going to drive around just that tiny little strip of field that we've got left it's already saying the job is complete here so every single bit of sugar beet that we've got now is actually surplus. It's extra money for us. Uh, ooh. Right, wait a minute. This is surplus. The Felsbrunn grain mill is 237, whereas what we're getting here... Oh, no, wait, I'm, I'm on the wrong one. 
We're actually pretty much getting the top price. 130 right now. So, yeah, um, I was looking at the wrong one. The potatoes, it might actually be worth dropping. If we're already saving the wheat in the grain silo, it might actually be worth saving the potatoes in here as well. This lot is all sale straight away. See? It's all straight being sold just as it is. We don't need to worry about that. The potatoes right there... Um, Especially considering the last few loads of potatoes are go it's going to be closer to take them to the mill uh, to, to the, the silo and store them This one we've got 18,000 liters there wait, okay uh, the potatoes We do want to do the same thing that we're done with the wheat and we can load them up in separate trailers and have that done through this bit down here I want to take off the bit of sugar beet that we've got here and then that one can start up. We've got the potatoes over there. I need to unload another load. I don't know how much of the potatoes we're going to be able to save back. Because we've only got those two trailers. And, I mean, it is four loads. But it's still not a huge amount in the grand scheme of things, is it? Because it's going to be quite a bit of the harvesting work. Whether or not... I, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. We can sort of, we can go with a bit of a happy compromise on the potatoes. If I... I'll start putting the potatoes now. I'll put them all into the Felsbrun, uh, in, into the grain silo over there. If I put all the potatoes in there, and not just some of them, and then I can then go and, like, unload them from there later on and just take out what we need in order to be able to finish that job. So I want this one here. I'm just going to let that one go up, turn around, and come back again. I actually unloaded just about all of that. didn't realize I'd done quite that much. Uh, so, yeah, if I take this now, not, like, immediately, once I've got the next load in here as well, and I will put that into the grain silo rather than putting it anywhere else and I don't even need to go to the grain actually it would be better if I did um, I was just thinking I could go and put it in that one over there because that one would be closer but that isn't going to actually be beneficial to us because I've still got to load some of it back up again and then take it to the supermarket so we don't really want to do it that way around we want to do it this way around uh, contract in here Field 12, harvesting with the potatoes. We're on 71% done so far. Field 5 is progressing. It's Obviously, it's going to be a bit slow, but it is slowly progressing. You come down here. Park out there. Help me is blocked. Yes, well, we expect that. And, right, you go there and you carry on. You're doing a great job. I'm quite pleased with that one. And then we can skip through this lot and we can come down over here. We've got the last little bit. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.